Boogie Bear by David Williams and Tony Ross. Up at the North Pole, polar bears were swimming, fishing and growling. The biggest, furriest one of all was sunning herself on an iceberg, as usual. Lying there without a care in the world, she scooped fish from the sea with her paw and dropped them into her mouth. This is the life, she sighed as she drifted off to sleep. When the polar bear finally woke up, the most awful thing had happened. The, l- the animal must have eaten too much for lunch again, because the part of the iceberg she was lying on had snapped off and floated away. The polar bear was now many miles from home and being hurled around by an angry sea. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, she said as she wobbled, surfing a humongous wave. Surely things couldn't get any worse. They could. Much worse. As the polar bear was swept south, the sea became warmer and warmer, melting the iceberg, which became smaller and smaller. Soon it was no bigger than an ice cube. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, said the polar bear, as she toppled over into the sea. Splosh! Bobbing her head up out of the water, the polar bear spied that the nearest land was miles away. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. She did her best bear paddle. Bear paddle is a little like doggy paddle, but more bear Towards it, before collapsing on the rocks, waves crashing around her. Behind her, she heard a rustling in the forest. Rustle, rustle, rustle. Looking up, the polar bear saw hundreds of eyes staring back at her out of the gloom. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh very dear, she whispered to herself. Surely things couldn't get any worse. They could. Much worse. Charge! came a voice. Before the polar bear knew it, a hundred brown furry creatures were stampeding towards her. They cried like soldiers running into battle. Get the boogie monster! bellowed the littlest one from the back. What's a boogie monster? What is? shouted the big one with the floppy ears. I'm scared, said the one with the biggest, wettest nose. The brown bears had never seen a white bear before. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh very dear, said the polar bear, and she ran away into the forest as fast as she could. Brown bears came from all sides, and soon the white bear had nowhere to run. Ahead of her was the tallest tree in the forest, so she clambered all the way up to the top. The tree swayed under her weight. The white bear clung on desperately as the brown bears circled. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh very, very extremely dear, she said to herself. Get the boogie monster, shouted the small one, baring his sharp teeth. Can someone else do it? It's scary, whined the one with the biggest, wettest nose. I am not scary, shouted the polar bear. Yes, you are, said the little one. Your fur is a funny colour. Well, I think your fur is a funny colour. That enraged him. Get up there, he ordered. I'm scared of ants, replied the one with the biggest, wettest nose. The smallest one huffed, picked up a stick as big as he was. He hurled it at the polar bear. Take that, boogie monster! Ow! cried the polar bear. She lost her grip and slid down the tree at speed. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, she muttered as her big furry bottom hit every branch on the way down until she 
hit a big bendy branch that bounced her back up to the top of the tree. Surely things couldn't get any worse. They could much worse. As the polar bear was so heavy, the tree buckled to one side. The pack of brown bears reached up with their paws and grabbed at the trunk. Get the boogie monster! ordered the little one. The brown bears lost their grip on the trunk and the tree twanged back up. Twong. Oh dear! screamed the polar bear as she soared through the air. It's a flying boogie monster! remarked the one with the biggest, wettest nose. In no time at all, the animal had crash-landed headfirst into a huge, muddy puddle. Splat! Let's get the boogie monster! shouted the b small littlest one. Oh dear, oh dear! said the polar bear as she stood up. Caked in mud, the polar bear wasn't white anymore. Stop! It's not boogie monster, it's a bear! exclaimed the one with the biggest, wettest nose. A boogie bear! shouted the little one. A huge smile spread across the face of the one with the floppy ears. Oh, she's not a boogie anything. She's gorgeous. Boring! fumed the little one. Miss, we are so sorry for frightening you, said the little one with the floppy ears, stepping forward. In truth, we were frightened. Here, you see, all us bears are brown. There, all us bears are white, she said, pointing north. I love your white fur, said the brown bear, checking out the white bear's big furry bottom. Oh, I love your brown fur, said the white bear, checking out the brown bear's big furry bottom. Yuck! exclaimed the littlest one. The pair rubbed noses in a show of love. The birds in the trees tweeted sweet music. Butterflies swooped and twirled as if that wasn't enough. A rainbow appeared in the sky. From that day on, the two love-struck bears spent all their days and nights together. The white bear had never eaten honey before, which she loved. The brown bear had never eaten walrus before, which he pretended to love. The pair hibernated for the winter, cuddled up together in a hollowed-out tree. Things couldn't get any better, but they could much better. That spring, the polar bear had a litter of beautiful bear cubs. Their fur came in lots of different shades of white and brown. No matter what, their mummy and daddy loved them all the same. This really is the life, sighed the white bear. It certainly is, my love, replied the brown bear. <laughs>